Hi everyone, this is my good friend Jackie. She's so cute. So she has her own YouTube channel, so I'll link that below so you guys can check her out. But anyway, our main goal today is to show you how I remove the most warmth that I can from her hair. Let me inspire my formula. Looking like a beauty queen. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna put some Dove Beauty Formula Lotion on my hair. Okay, so I'm gonna put some Dove Beauty Formula Lotion on my hair. Okay, so I'm gonna put some and then one at the end. The first formula is going to be 4 stroke 7 7 with 10 volume developer. And this one we're actually going to be using at the roots because we want to melt her roots into like her volleyage that we're going to be doing. Our other two formulas are going to be our lightener, and I'm actually using Wella's Blondor here. And with any lightener application that you do, you should always use Olaplex. I have recently learned this. Olaplex is beautiful. It is amazing. It totally protects your hair from any damage. If you don't know about it, Google it. Learn something. It's, it's really worth it, you guys. It's like insurance for your hair. It is a bit pricey. It's more of a luxury product. But if... I mean, if you think about it, do you really want your client's hair to get gummy? Not really. So this will help out with that. The only downside about Olaplex is it does dilute the developer of your lightener down one level. So if you want a 20 volume mixture, you're going to mix a 30 volume, which is what I'm doing here. So I mixed lightener and I used 30 volume, but it's going to work as a 20 volume. Does that make sense? And then of course I'm mixing in my Olaplex. And then my final one is gonna be Blondor with 20 volume, but it's gonna work as a 10 volume. And we're also gonna mix Olaplex into there. Okay, let's get started. So first I sectioned two sections in the front and then a large one at the back. And I'm actually going to start with the root formulation. So I'm going to be applying this all over the roots. Um, it seems like I'm applying it at the very, very root. But later I'm going to go in there with the comb to kind of melt it down and blend it in with the blondor. I'm taking very thin sections because I want the product to be very well saturated in there. And I'm actually going to be doing this throughout the whole head. So every single little sliver on the front area and then I go into the back. So here you see how I take the comb back into the section and I comb it down and I just kind of help it blend. Now we're ready to move on to the next section and then the back. So once I was done applying the first formula to all the roots, I went ahead and went back to the first area we started at and I started to weave and foil and I'll explain as I go. So the first section I took, I weaved it and I'm going to be using these little sheets and I'm going to be using the 30 volume formula. And sorry, it gets kind of messy. It was really hard to like catch the right angle on camera and also be like comfortable. So I'm trying my hardest here. Next, I'm gonna be taking a really thin sliver of hair and I'm gonna be putting it in foil. For this one, I'm gonna be using the 20 volume formula. So the one that actually is working as a 10. And then after this section, I'm gonna take a teeny tiny sliver of hair again, and I'm actually gonna be leaving that hair out. Then again, I'm gonna be taking a section, I'm gonna weave it, I'm gonna put it with 30 volume into the white sheet. Then after that, I'm gonna take another sliver and I'm gonna foil it and I'm gonna use the 20 volume and I will not be weaving that. So it's one weave, one sliver, and then one that just gets no lightener. We just leave it out. And we're just gonna be alternating this way for the whole front two sections. And for every section, I'm doing hair painting. 
so I'm applying it where I think it's gonna look the best I make sure I apply it in the center first and then I kind of balayage and hair paint up and then I go back down So here I'm almost done with the front two sections as you can see I'm balayaging this foil which means that right before this I had just done the little white sheet and in case you're wondering why I left those little ends out without any liner it's because I felt that they were already too a little too over processed so I didn't want to put any damage on there so I just leave that out it's already blonde as I want it to be anyway no carrot. What's a carrot in Spanish? Carrot. Zanahoria. What? <laughs> <laughs> Why'd you think of carrot though? Because my hair is like a carrot. Oh, yo no carrot. <laughs> yo. What's hair. yolo in Mexico? Mexican. Yolo. Spanish. There is no Spanish. There is no Mexican yolo. So all the products that I'm using are actually only sold to professionals, so I do have my cosmetology license. So kids, don't try this at home, please! I mean, I have nothing against it, I just don't want you to end up with like messed up hair. So just make sure to consult with a stylist first before you do anything to your own hair. Thank you! We're now at the back, at the back, at the back, whatever. So here I'm just going to be doing hair painting. I'm not going to be doing the foils and I'm not going to be doing the white sheets. I'm just going to be doing balayage and hair painting all the way through the back section. And to separate in between sections, I do put a little piece of foil just so that the, the next section lays over it without like being stained or any bleeding with the lightener, okay? And I am using the 30 volume formula for this whole section. So once you're done applying lightener all over and all the three formulas, it should look like this. Oh my goodness, my daughter's cray. I'm sorry, you get good thing I just did that. I'm good. <laughs> So my final formula is the toner and I'm going to be using Paul Mitchell's color 8A which is a light ash blonde with 10 volume developer. Let's see. So we just washed it and we put toner in it. So now we need it to process. And I don't know if you can tell on the camera but it's already getting ashy. I like her knees. <laughs> <laughs> And voila! How beautiful is this, you guys? Look at this dimension. And that's all thanks to the foiling and like switching in between sections. It's so beautiful. I'm so proud of this. It's oh, it's beautiful! Oh, Thank you. Oh, you. Before and after side by side you can see that major change I love it thanks for watching my video love ya